Hi, today we will be presenting the use of Haskell in the real world. First of all, we will introduce Haskell and how it came about. We have put forth three case studies from real world industries, following which we will talk about Haskell Development Committee and the extensive use of libraries. We also do a short comparison between object oriented and functional programming language using some code examples. Let's begin. First, we will talk about what is Haskell. Haskell is a purely functional programming language and is named after Haskell Curry, an influential logician. Haskell is based on lambda calculus and functions are king. It is polymorphic, which means that a value can have more than one type. Haskell is lazy, meaning that evaluation is deferred until their results are needed by other computations. Haskell is also statically strong type, which results in errors caught before runtime. Now we will do a brief history of Haskell. In the 1970s, it all began with the emergence of lazy evaluation as a strategy for functional language. And as we move on to the late 1980s, there were a dozen of lazy functional languages found as efforts from researchers were scattered. This is a concern as the efforts of the researchers were diffused and a few researchers stand up and form the committee to design a common language. Three years later, in the 1990s, that language was born and it was Haskell. Fast forward to 2000, Haskell was released to the public domain and available to everyone. Now let's look at case studies of companies using Haskell in their implementation. First, let's look have a look at Facebook. Facebook is a popular online social networking service that is used by almost everyone. Originally, Facebook used FXL, a domain-specific language, to aid their fight against spams, where they have site integrity engineers to write rules, which will be input every day into business logic. They find that by switching to Haskell, the implementation will be better and more efficient and a few advantages of Haskell lead to their change. One of them is having great Haskell libraries for writing business logics which make their life easier and also the quality of implementation has highly improved as well. Next we will talk about the second case study which is about BAM Technologies. BAM Technologies is a company that is founded in 2009 and is based in Mountain View. It is well known for its file sharing app for smartphones which is by bumping two phones together. During the development of the app, they face some complications such as GPS, network and environmental issues. Their requirement was to scale beyond prototype and to provide an easier means of collaboration between the programmers. Initially, BAM programmers started the app program, uh, development using Python. However, as the app becomes more popular, the volume of code grew and it crashes the app frequently. How after switching to Haskell, the volume of code becomes smaller. They are now able to scale from 6 to 8 cores to more than 250 cores. Therefore, they are able to spend more time on innovation and lesser time on testing and debugging. Uh, next, I will talk about Tsuru Capital. Tsuru Capital is a proprietary trading fund based in Tokyo and uh, Singapore. They use uh, software exclusively to design and execute efficient trading strategies in financial markets. It's worth noting that they almost use Haskell exclusively. They have uh, 72,000 lines of Haskell code base. Besides Haskell, they only use uh, some bash scripts and Ruby occasionally. So that's a typical company that turns Lambda into dollar. Why does Haskell, why does True Capital use Haskell? Firstly, Haskell has a strong statically typing system, which means the, the types of every expression is already known at compile time. In this fashion, we will have a safer code. In the stock market, there are many uh, prices, such as average price, likely price, strike price. And in, in Haskell, we can create all these uh, different types uh, fairly easily using the new type of data keyword without much overhead. Secondly, Haskell can be fast if it's well written. Haskell can achieve a very high performance as compared to other high-level programming languages such as Java. 
Tour Capital measures the performance of uh, their program every day. Thirdly, there are many good libraries for Haskell, such as Eason Lens, and the many good puzzle libraries as well, such as Parsec, Etoparsec, Happy. In Tour Capital, their GUI is also in is also implemented in Haskell. Traditionally, GUIs are implemented using the MVC architecture, but in functional programming languages, uh, GUIs are implemented using functional reactive programming paradigm. Functional pro reactive programming paradigm integrates time flow and the compositional events into functional programming. And uh, True Capital chooses a, a, a minimalistic library, which is called uh, Ilaria, for their implementation. After looking at the three case studies, these are our findings. Many companies require a solution that is scalable, fast, cheap, and efficient, which Haskell can provide. Rapid prototyping and testing of ideas are crucial, and handle, handle large data sets such to sustain future growth is important. Robust and stable backend supports, and compared to imperative languages, Haskell does not need to generate high testing and debugging cycles. This graph shows the number of Haskell developers from 1990s to 2011. Since the Haskell 98 standard was published, the number of developers grew at a faster rate. From 2005 to 2011, the number of developers tripled. This shows the, that Haskell enjoyed a vibrant community which helps create the broad spectrum of Haskell libraries. Next, we will talk about the Haskell library. Haskell has a standard library which is known as the prelude. It is imported by default to all Haskell modules. It includes basic data types, class types, list operations, etc., which is similar to our java.lang. Haskell libraries is comprehensive and range from bioinformatics, games, robotics to web. One particular library that came to our attention is parallel and concurrency. In the area of parallel and concurrency like programming, Haskell libraries allow deterministic programs to be created effectively. For concurrency, Information are shared across threads via high-level exceptions. Distributed programming such as Cloud Haskell is still in the area of research and prototype. Unsurprisingly, Haskell has a message passing interface package, which are compliant to the MPI2 standards. Quicksort is a classic example to showcase the expressive power of Haskell. You can write Quicksort in 6 lines in Haskell, but it's over 20 lines in Java. And from a code sample, we can observe some interesting features. First of all, we don't have any if-else or switch case. This is because there's something called a pattern matching in Haskell. In this, in our case, it checks whether the input list is the empty list. If yes, we just return the empty list. Otherwise, we perform quick sort recursively. List comprehension is used to find the list of all the elements which is smaller than uh, or equal to x. It is very similar to the set comprehension in mathematics. The pre-decade uh, less than or equal to x uh, is called a partial application. And uh, we can see that it's uh, more readable than using the lambda uh, expression. Partial application means we only su supply some of the parameters to a function. And uh, we create another new function on the fly. Then we can pass the new function to another function. In this case, we have a, a function called a mount, mount tree, which takes uh, two, uh, three para parameters, x, y, and z. We just pass, uh, pass in one parameter, 9, to it, and we get a new function called a mount2 with, with 9. This function requires two more parameters. Type classes are very similar to Java interface. If a type is a part of a type class, we can use the function of a type class. For example, there are two methods, equal equal and uh, slash equal in type class EQ. The person class derived from EQ, so we are able to check the equality of uh, two persons using uh, equal equal. Our conclusion. Currently, the Haskell is at version Haskell 2010. The next version is known as Haskell Prime. It's an ongoing process of producing revisions to the Haskell standard. Haskell Prime is mainly a community driven effort. Challenges. Since Haskell is a functional programming language, programmers need to have a different mindset. 
they will have to learn and apply new techniques. This may be a hurdle to programmers who are used to object oriented or imperative language. Another thing to note is that since the operating system is either written in C or some other imperative language, it is easier to implement your applications in imperative language. Haskell I.O. is another challenge. While simple I.O. code in Haskell looks very similar to its equivalents in imperative languages, attempt to write somewhat more complex code often result in a mess. Lastly, our stand is that even with a crowded environment filled with imperative language, we feel Haskell as a functional language has shown a lot of potential. Given that various industrial sectors have already begun implementing Haskell into their infrastructure, the future is bright and possibilities are endless.